Good, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Alex Padova, and I belong to the IRBM group, and I will try to make use as best of these uh, eight minutes. So I will try to give you an overview of what IRBM is. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually a group, uh, and I will describe four companies, IRBM, IRBM Promedis, the CNSC, CCS Consortium, and Advent. Um, the RBM group is privately held and is based in uh, Rome. Uh, by, by the fact that it's privately held, it means that it's quite flexible in the partnering approach. And uh, it was the ex-Merck uh, R&D site in Italy and uh, has been uh, acquired uh, in uh, uh, five years ago, in 2009. And it's based on a unique uh, small molecule and uh, peptide drug discovery engine. So this is uh, the group. So you can see on the top left uh, is, is the standard small molecule uh, pharmaceutical type of approach, but with uh, lots of expertise also in peptide therapeutics. Then on the right hand side, the company called Promedis that stands for protein misfolding diseases and is a company that focus on rare neurodegenerative diseases, both in terms of diagnostics and uh, drug discovery. Uh, CNCCS, it's uh, a public-private consortium, and CNCCS stands for Italian National Compound Collection and Screening Facilities, and ADVENT, which is a GMP uh, production facility for uh, adenoviral vectors. So in terms of uh, the first group, IRBM uh, has got the standard, let's say, pharmaceutical slash biotech type of approach. So they can start with screening large libraries, identify compounds, and then characterize them through iterative cycle of medicinal chemistry, biology, and characterization of all the MPK properties, delivering uh, preclinical candidates both for drug discovery and peptide therapeutics. Uh, just to give you an idea of this center, so between 90 and 99, uh, 1994 and 2009, while it was a Merck, this, this, uh, this group of uh, 150 people delivered over 25 uh, clinical candidates, and amongst these there, there are blockbusters like his interests and Grazoprevir, which of course are, uh, were developed during the Merck period. Also, which is really unique in the world, is their uh, um, peptide uh, competencies, not in, in as much as uh, you know, synthetic peptides, but developing peptide therapeutics. And uh, during the year, they develop five preclinical candidates with three compounds advancing in uh, clinical experimentation. And then now, since uh, uh, it is not anymore the Merck group, they still have large collaboration with pharma, including Merck, because it was the ex-Merck Peptide Center of Excellence. And they have one program, a preclinical candidate, to lead optimization and to lead identification. Now we come to the other company, which is called IRPM Promedis, and uh, basically the philosophy uh, and the focus is mainly on rare neurodegenerative diseases, but in general on any kind of disease which uh, has a single genetic mutation causing the disease. Uh, in the first 12 months of life, most of the work has been exemplified of Huntington disease. Huntington disease is a, is a disease where uh, you have a single mutation in the Huntington protein that causes an expansion of a polyglutamine tract, which uh, results in, uh, in, in uh, uncoordinated movement, but then you have issues in uh, eating and slowly you die over, over 20 years of age. And basically our philosophy was to, first of all, develop assay that can measure the protein levels in, uh, uh, in patients' material. So that really is the philosophy of, uh, of the company. And uh, so this is, for example, the first example of uh, detection in uh, patient CSF. So we received uh, 40 samples uh, uh, of uh, different stages patients. So we had 10 control, 10 pre-manifest patients, 10 manifest patients, and 10 with uh, advanced disease. And uh, with our immunoassay platform, which is based on this uh, Singulex technology, basically is a 
a specialized immunoassay where you can detect uh, protein level up to zeptomolar level that is 10 to the minus 21. So we were able to uh, uh, detect the, the sample in CSF, but more than that, you can see a clear correlation in the graph between the level of the mutant protein in CSF and uh, disease stage. And this, as you can imagine, is very useful as a myomarker to uh, understand, for example, uh, uh, therapeutic efficacy, because uh, therapeutic will aim at lowering the protein level, and now we have a tool. Having developed the assay, what we have done then is do a full validation according to FDA and the MEA guidelines. Uh, and uh, so the method has been really developed uh, uh, you know, with severe guidelines because the objective is, of course, to use it then during clinical experimentation. And last, uh, this is, uh, is, uh, is the last slide, it's about the CNS consortium, which was formed in 2010 between the Italian uh, uh, Institute of uh, Health, Instituto Superiore di Sanità, uh, CNR, the National Research Council, and uh, uh, IRBM. And uh, the objective was, first of all, to build a repository of compound collection that belong to Italy, so these compounds were collected both from academic and private centers, and then uh, do screening of rare and neglected diseases. Uh, so in terms of what has been done, really, you can see the key milestones to date. The compound collection is today 100,000 compounds. Uh, uh, there have been several high throughput screening campaign, uh, especially for uh, malaria and beta thalassemia. Uh, which have identified active molecules and have allowed filing of uh, patents. Uh, and then, of course, uh, uh, the consortium has established very important uh, network at European level and is a member of uh, EU Open Screen and uh, EATRIS. The last one, sorry, I forgot, uh, it's uh, ADVENT. ADVENT is uh, a, a GMP facility which has been approved by FDA and the MEA uh, for production of uh, adenoviral uh, uh, vectors. Uh, and uh, you can see that the GMP facility. Thank you.